Welcome to Front Porch Lawyer, where we address the humanity of lawyering. Many attorneys are winning battles in the courtroom, but losing battles in their lives. From interpersonal relationships to stress management, Front Porch Lawyer explores topics that improve your practice, your lifestyle, and even your love life. Leave feeling a little more inspired with a smile on your face. Here's your host, Francine Tone. Do you remember the story of Othello? Think Shakespeare. Othello thought that his wife was sobbing because she longed for her lover. Then Othello murdered his wife for infidelity. Turned out Othello made a big mistake. Desdemona was not having an affair. She was crying because Othello had wrongfully accused her of having an affair. Wow, Othello really blew it. Hi, welcome to Front Porch Lawyer, where we explore the humanity of lawyering. I'm Francine Tone, your host. Now, if only Othello had been better at reading the emotions of others, he could have avoided this tragedy altogether. Decades ago, Harvard psychologists concluded that those who best identify the emotions of others are the most successful both socially and at work. So let's think about that for a moment. When a client, opposing counsel, or a judge is expressing big emotions, you'd think that would be easy to figure out how they're really feeling, but is it? Desdemona's crying was a big emotion, but her crying could have meant many things. And Othello, Othello read it wrong because he jumped to conclusions based on Desdemona's behavior, her acting out, her crying. Then he ran with this inaccurate conclusion rather than checking in with Desdemona to clarify why she was crying. This is just one way that our brains get in our own way. Our brain takes in information and inaccurately perceives the meaning of information because that brain only has part of the information. When this inaccurate information gets in our head, sometimes we just run with it in the wrong direction, just like Othello did. Now, I did a video where I briefly mentioned thought distortions and gave out a handout on thought distortions. So you can go check that out. The video is titled Law Lawyers Conquering Stress, part two of three. And there's the link in the top corner of this video now, but I'll also put, include a link for it below in this video. Now, the key to identifying emotions in others is our own self-awareness. We use the same neural circuitry, circuitry that makes us self-aware to perceive other people's emotional states. So the better we are at identifying our own emotions, the better we are at identifying other people's emotions. And this is why developing the ability to be more self-aware of our own emotions is critical to correctly perceiving other people's emotions and important for lawyers. So let's do a quick experiment to see if you're better than Othello at reading the emotions of others. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to YouTube and type in Goodwill Hunting Park Scene Miramax. These are, these are the words. I'm putting it on the screen. You can write this down. And I'll put a link to this video at the bottom of my video here as well. Turn off the sound. Be sure closed caption is turned off. And I want you to watch this and see if you can identify the emotions expressed by these two characters. If you can, watch it a couple of times with the sound off. After you've identified the emotions, watch it with the sound on and see how accurate you were and what else you learn. Now, pause this video and go watch the scene from the video on Goodwill Hunting and watch it a couple of times without sound or words. Just go do it now and then come back. You need to pause this video and go do it. Now, if you didn't pause the video and go do the experiment, the value of what I'm about to share with you is gonna get lost. So you're only cheating yourself, so please go do the experiment before continuing with this video. So this is the toughest part of an online video as a teaching tool, is I can't stop, actually, and make everybody go do this. So we'll just have to move on. So when you watch that scene without the sound, you had to rely strictly on body language and facial muscles, the expressions on the face. With only partial information, you reached certain conclusions. But when we added the words and the vocal tone, you were able to pick up much more information resulting in more accurate conclusions about what the emotions were of the two characters. So how do you think Othello would have done? 
probably not as good as you. But did you find that you were more accurate once you had the sound than you were when you were just relying on facial expressions and body language? So it turns out that when we are only relying on, let's say, facial expressions, we're only about 65% accurate. That's not very accurate. As lawyers, developing the ability to read others' emotions can be advantageous in client interviews, depositions, trials, negotiations, and in many more other situations. So don't be Othello. Learn to read emotions of others more accurately by improving your self-awareness of your emotions. So this way you will improve some of the skills that could be critical for your practice as an attorney. This can also improve your love life because as you improve your recognition of your own awareness of your emotions, you will get better at recognizing the emotions of your spouse or your lover. This will also improve your relationships with your children and your family and your friends for all the same reasons. And this will also improve how you deal with liars, cheats, and thieves. So comment below and send me an email with your thoughts and feedback. And thank you for joining me on my front porch. Be sure to click the subscribe button on the bottom right corner of your video so you don't miss any episodes. This is Francine Tone and Front Porch Lawyer, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.